Hello, and a very warm welcome to the organ loft of St Edmundsbury Cathedral. I believe it's one of the highest organ lofts in the country, um, and will go so far as to say it's the third highest in the country. Uh, I'm not sure that that's a definite fact. Um, some of you may know. Um, so I'm not going to claim that that is definitive, um, but I'm pretty sure that that is the case. I'm going to give you a tour of our fantastic uh, 2010 Harrison and Harrison organ. Um, the organ has 59 speaking stops um, and three and a half thousand pipes, ranging in length from 32 feet to less than a quarter of an inch. Um, now I hope this comes across on the microphone, but the 32 foot contrabass sounds a little bit like this. And the one foot on the choir uh, sounds a little bit like this. So I thought actually I'd start the tour by just going through some of the flutes on the organ. Um, I'll start with the flutes on the swell. So this is the eight foot get out. And with its four foot. The eight foot on the grate. It's a four foot counterpart. the stopped flute on the choir, uh, which I believe dates from the 17th century. It's a four-foot counterpart. And finally, my favourite um, flutes on the whole organ are the solo harmonic flutes. So we have a wonderful eight-foot harmonic flute. And pop that with the four-foot. Moving on to some of the other foundation stops, um, the swell diapason um, is, is a really beautiful uh, example of a stop. Really quite bright, and if you add the forefoot, um, you'll notice that actually the, the forefoot also adds a huge amount of brightness. The choir open diapason is a fantastic um, stop and it's great for playing uh, music by John Stanley, uh, music of that era. So a four foot principle to go with that. And a fifteenth. Moving on to the grate, uh, where we have two diapasons, um, a small one, and a large one. Put them both together. Add the four foot on top of that. Two foot. And the sixteen foot and mixture. It's a really lovely bright chorus. You also got a, a chorus on the swell, um, which can be used to supplement. Um, that of the great. Oh, 
I move on to some of the reeds now, um, and I'll actually start on the solo, um, where we have a rather fabulous Vox Humana uh, with Tremulant for full effect. Also on the solo, uh, we have a beautiful clarinet. Uh, moving on to the swell reeds, we have um, a rather fabulous uh, cornopian. which can be used as a chorus read or as a solo stop. Um, the other stop that we have a particularly fine example of on this organ is the oboe, uh, which is on the swell and sounds like this. Moving on to the choir, uh, we have a Cremona, uh, which is of different character to the clarinet on the solo. slightly quirky in character. Uh, moving on to the great, um, we have a fantastic trumpet. With a four foot and a 16. The swell reeds are similarly spectacular. We also, on the solo, have two big reeds, the first of which is an orchestral trumpet. And the second of which is the customary tuba. So a couple of other things that I'll just show you um, very quickly. Uh, we have a rather lovely cornet, um, a decompose cornet on the choir, um, which is fantastic for Baroque chorale preludes um, and sounds something like this. rather fabulous and finally uh, I thought I'd save the best till last uh, we've got two sets of fantastic strings um, I'll start with the swell strings um, and they sound like this moving on to the solo strings And if you put them all together uh, with the sub and super octaves, they make a quite spectacular noise. So before I demonstrate uh, a crescendo on the organ, um, I'll do an improvisation for you um, in a second. Um, but to hear more of the organ, um, I have recorded a recital uh, which we premiered um, on this channel, uh, a Christmas recital um, and a programme which I'm hoping utilises as much of the organ and the various different sounds um, as possible. Um, so please do tune into that. So I'll now um, demonstrate a uh, crescendo on the organ. I'll do a bit of an improvisation and uh, demonstrate bits of the organ 
um, and uh, end up on the tutti. So I hope you enjoy.